Hi everyone, I am Aas Anthya, Assistant Professor, Department of Food Processing and Preservation Technology, Faculty of Engineering, Avinash Lingam University, Coimbatore. Today we are going to discuss about the topic essential oil, its antioxidant and antimicrobial agents in food preservation. First, introduction. Essential oils are a valuable natural product used as a raw materials in many fields such as perfumes, cosmetics, aromatherapy, spices and nutrition. There is an increasing worldwide attempt to screen plants for studying the biological activity of their oils from chemical and pharmacological investigation to therapeutic aspects. Although there are some synthetic antioxidant compounds such as BHT, BHA and ascorbic acid which are commonly used in processed foods. It has been shown that these compounds have some side effects. Therefore, research on the identification of natural sources of antioxidants and its potentials for plants is important. The after going through this session, you will be able to understand the importance of essential oil in food preservation, its antimicrobial activity and its effect on bacterial cell wall and its role in food preservation. The essential oils are liquid mixtures of volatile compounds obtained for, from aromatic plants. They have antioxidant properties. The use of essential oil as natural antioxidants is a field of growing interest because some synthetic antioxidants such as BHA and BHT are now suspected to be potentially harmful to human health. Addition of essential oil to edible products either by direct mixing or in active packaging and edible coatings may therefore represent a valid alternative to prevent the auto oxidation and it prolongs the shelf life. The sources of natural essential oil. These are commonly obtained from one or more plant parts such as flowers, leaves and stems, woods, roots, seeds, fruits, rhizomes and gums or oleoresin exudations. The composition of essential oil are mostly derived from spices and herbs but can also be isolated from fruit, roots and stems of plants. Some oils and isolated plant compounds are used in foods as flavoring agents. These are derived fr from their functionality in plants. These compounds show a wide range of interesting biological activities. The antimicrobial activity of extract obtained from spices, herbs and other aromatic plants are parts thereof using organic solvents or steam distillation have been used since antiquity in folk medicine and food preservation providing a range of compounds possessing a pharmacological activities. Most commonly antimicrobial compounds are found in the essential oil fraction. With many herbs and spices, these compounds contribute to the characteristic aroma and flavor. Essential oil are mostly soluble in alcohol and to a limited extent in water. They consist of mixtures of esters, aldehydes, ketones and terpenes. Essential oil components with a wide spectrum of antimicrobial effect include thymol from thyme and oregano, cinnamaldehyde from cinnamon and eugenol from clove. The essential oils in food preservation. Food brown disease that are a rising issue in worldwide. It is expected that each year in the United States 31 species of pathogens causing 9.4 million cases of food bone illness. Successful control of food bone pathogen requires the use of multiple preservation techniques in the manufacturing and storage of food products. A recent consumer trend toward the preference for products with lower salt and sugar content presents an increased need for efficient food preservatives as lowering the salt and sugar content would otherwise compromise the product shelf life. A wide range of preservatives are used to extend the shelf life of a product by inhibiting the microbial growth. However, an ever more unconstructive consumer view of synthetic food additives has encouraged an interest in, fi interest in finding natural option to the traditional solutions. The antimicrobial activity of essential oil makes the main choice for replacement of synthetic preservatives. In total, 
23 compounds were identified in the essential oils including 10 terpenes, 6 alcohols, 2 ketones and 5 other compounds. Generally, 3 essential oils showed similar profiles in chemical composition but different contents. The major compounds in the essential oil were curcumol and cyanol for Alcohols were predominantly present in the essential oil of curcuma aromatica whereas ketones were relatively higher in essential oils. The methods of obtaining of, of volatile oils are, it mainly depends upon the condition of the plant materials. Oil production can be divided into three major ways. First one is distillation, second is solvent extraction and third is mechanical expression. Under mechanical expression, there are three more types. First one is distillation. There are three types of distillation used. One is water distillation, water and steam distillation, and the last one is direct steam distillation. Water distillation. It is applied to plant material that is dried and is not destroyed by boiling. Turpentine oil is obtained by this method. The crude turpentine oil resin is introduced into the distilling chamber. It is subjected to heat until all volatile matter, both oil and water, is condensed in the condensing chamber. Turpentine oil is not affected by this amount of heat. Second one is water and steam distillation. It is applied to plant material that may be dried or fresh and can be destroyed by boiling. In case of dried material, example cinnamon or clove, the drug is ground. It is then covered with a layer of water. The steam is passed through the macreator mixture. A steam is generated elsewhere and is conveyed into the container that keeps the drug. That keeps the drug oily layer of the condensed distillate as separated from the aqueous layer. The oil is then marketed with or without further processing. The next one is direct steam distillation. It is applied to plant material that is fresh, example peppermint or spearmint. The plant is cut and is placed directly into a metal distilling tank on a truck bed. The truck is moved to a distilling shed where steam lines are attached to the bottom of the distilling tank. The plant material is still green and contains natural moisture. Therefore, macreation is not needed. The steam is passed through the fresh herb and carries the oil droplets through a vapor pipe and that is attached to the condensing chamber. During steam distillation, some components of the volatile oil are hydrolyzed while the other are decomposed due to high temperatures. The next method is solvent extraction. It is either carried out by using various solvents or fats. It can be classified into two types. One is absolute solvent extraction and other one is supercritical fluid extraction. In absolute solvent extraction, it is usually carried out for the extraction of volatile oil from rose flask. The flowers are agitated in a vat with a solvent such as hexane. The solvent takes out the aromatic compound as well as other soluble substances. The extract is then exposed to the vacuum processing which removes the solvent for reuse. The remaining waxy moss is known as concrete. The concrete is then mixed with alcohol which dissolves the aromatic constituents and leaves behind the other substance. The alcohol is evaporated leaving, the, leaving behind the absolute. The absolute may be further processed to remove the any impurities. The next one is supercritical fluid extraction. It is a process of separating one component from other using a supercritical fluids as the extracting solvents. The system must contain a pump for carbon dioxide, a pressure cell that contains a sample, a mean of maintaining pressure in the system and a collecting vessel. The liquid is pumped to the heating zone where it is heated to supercritical condition. It is then passed into the extraction vessel. Here, it diffuses into the solid matrix and dissolves the materials to be extracted. The dissolved material is taken out from extraction vessel into a separator at lower pressure. The extractor material then settles out. The next one is expression. Most citrus essences are extracted by means of expression. 
in the past the fruit pulp was removed by hand the rind and pith were then soaked in warm water the pith of the fruit absorbed water and the pressure is exerted due to which it becomes more elastic it was inverter which helped to rupture the oil cells on a on a sponge placed next to the rind as the sponge becomes saturated with oil it was then squeezed to release the volatile oil which was collected in a vessel and then decanted the extracted oil are commonly used as a spices and condiments as a flavoring agent as a carbonatif it is used in manufacturing of perfumes soaps cosmetics etc the essential oil constituent classes they antimicrobial activity and mode of their action the plants produce a variety of compounds with antimicrobial activity some are always present while others are produced in response to microbial invasion or physical injury identifying the most active antimicrobial compounds of essential oil is cumbersome because essential oil are complex mixtures of up to 45 different constituents and the composition of a particular essential oil may vary depending on the season of harvest and the method used to extract the oil essential oil constituents are a diverse family of low molecular weight organic compounds large differences in antimicrobial activity the active compounds can be divided into four groups according to their chemical structure terpenes terpenoids and phenylpropenes and others this section will provide an overview of what is currently known about the antimicrobial properties and the mode of action of selected essential oil constituents although studies have been performed on the mode of action of some essential oils analyzing the mode of action behind each constituent in the oil can reveal detail of its antimicrobial property that might be concealed when studied in a mixture with many other compounds we will thus focus this review on the in individual constituents of essential oil antimicrobial activity of plant extract the impact of essential oil on bacteria especially on pathogens has been extensively studied in the laboratory and significant variation have been noted for example e coli was found to be more vulnerable than pseudomonas to the essential oils of sage rosemary cumin caraway clove and thyme whereas salmonella was more more sensitive to oregano and thyme oils than pseudomonas a concentration of 0.1% allylistocyanate the active antimicrobial compound in mustard oil did not cause unacceptable sensory effects allowed sufficient thermosterilization and resulted in a microbiologically safe product staphylococcus listeria monocytogens and clostridium botulinum are to some degree sensitive to extract from orange lemon grapefruit sage rosemary orange thyme cinnamon cumin clove and onion some of the specific components like protein and fats which immobilize and inactivate the essential oil components in this context it is very important to distinguish between experiments that identify the target site from those that elucidate the mode of action the site of action refers to the part of the cell where which interacts the compound example the cell membrane cell wall or intracellular proteins enzymes nucleic acid or metabolites the mode of action however yield more elaborate knowledge about the molecular mechanism or intermolecular interaction behind the inhibition or killing effects next the role of essential oil as food additive essential oil from plants have been known to act as a natural additives for example antimicrobial agents antioxidant and so on their activities vary with source of plants chemical composition extraction methods and so on due to the unique smell associated with the volatiles this may limit the use of essential oil in some foods since it may alter the ty- typical smell flavor of foods next one is antibacterial activity the ability of the plant essential oil to protect the food against pathogenic and spoilage microorganism has been reported among chemical components in several essential oils carvecrol has been shown to exert a distinct antimicrobial action It is a major component of essential oil from oregano and thyme. 
It has a broad spectrum of antimicrobial activity against most gram positive and gram negative bacteria. It disintegrates the outer membrane of gram negative bacteria re releasing uh, lipopolysaccharides and increasing the permeability of the cytoplasmic membrane to ATP. For gram positive bacteria, it is able to interact with the membrane of bacteria and alter the permeability of cations. In general, the higher antimicrobial activity of essential oil is observed on gram positive bacteria than gram negative bacteria. Lipophilic The resistance of gram negative bacteria to essential oil is associated with the protecting role of extrinsic membrane proteins or cell walls which limits the diffusion rate of hydrophobic compounds through the lipopolysaccharide layer. The dissipation of iron gradients lead to impairment of essential processes in the cell and finally to cell death. The cytoplasmic membrane of bacteria generally has two principal functions. One is the barrier function and energy transduction which allows the membrane to form iron gradients that can be used to drive various processes. The second one is the formation of the matrix for membrane embedded proteins such as a membrane integrated FO complex of ATP synthase. The activity of the essential oil is synergistic interaction between components. The removal of aliphatic ring substituent of carbacrol slightly decreases the antimicrobial activity. The essential oil of rosemary exhibited both gram positive gram negative bacteria. The major component of rosemary oil are monotherapines such as alpha finding oregano essential oil had higher antimicrobial activity against the gram positive bacteria than gram negative the main constituent of oregano essential oil are thymol caravacrol however pseudomonas was resistant to carrot seed and parsley essential oil e coli and salmonella were also tolerant to carrot seed grapefruit lemon onion and parsley essential oil. The greater resistance of gram negative bacteria toward essential oil may be attributed to the complexity of their double layer cell membrane compared with the single layer membrane of gram positive bacteria. The next is antioxidants in foods. Fats, oils and related compounds which turn rancid on oxidation are mostly oxidized by air oxygen which penetrates the foods is dissolved in both aqueous and lipid phases. The reaction may be catalyzed by enzymes but the oxidant is still air oxygen. Other oxidant are of minor importance. In the presence of photosensibilizers and in the light ordinary triplet oxygen is converted into single oxygen which is 100 to 300 times more reactive. A single oxygen molecule is added to a double bond of unsaturated lipids and the intermediary unstable product is rapidly isomerized into a hydroperoxidate. The hydrogen peroxide is easily cleaved resulting in the formation of free radicals which really oxidize the unsaturated fatty acid. Next the importance of antioxidants. The auto oxidation of lipid is initiated by free radicals such as hydroperoxides produced by octo oxidation or decomposed producing free radicals which initiate the further oxidation reaction. Therefore, auto oxidation is called as auto catalytic reaction. In the beginning, the concentration of free radical is very low and oxidation is slow. Gradually, the concentration of hydroperoxides and other oxi oxidation product increases the concentration of free radicals formed during the, their decomposition increases as well and thus the overall oxidation rate increases. The storage of fat containing food materials is limited by the period of slow oxidation. Application of antioxidants in foods. Antioxidant activities depend not only on the antioxidant structure but also on many other factors such as the composition of the lipid fraction, availability of antioxidants, presence of various other inhibitors or promoters of oxidation, presence of non-lipidic components, water, microstructure, temperature, etc. Therefore, the literature data should be always verified using a specific substrate and the processing or storage conditions. Applications of antioxidant in food. 
The efficiency of antioxidant in foods depends very much on the water content. Generally, dry foods such as dehydrated soups, dried milk, dried meat, etc., are very sensitive to oxidation as air oxygen has free access to the film of lipids or non lipidic particles. The stabilization is then less effective as the initiation rate of the auto oxidation reaction is high and oxidations are soon decomposed on storage or heating. In water containing foods, the lipid fraction is relatively stable as it is usually protected by a layer of hydrated proteins or carbohydrates against the access of air oxygen. The addition of non-polar antioxidant is effective while polar antioxidant may lose their activity by passage into a aqueous phase. Similarly, as in fat emulsions, protein and many other components of foods have protective actions and act as a synergistic of other inhibitors, enhancing the effect of antioxidants. Chelating agents are often present in foodstuffs as natural compounds, but heavy metals may be present as cell, for instance, heme derivatives in animal products. Because of their complexity of foods, it is necessary to test any addition of antioxidants to stabilize a particular material and to optimize the mixture of inhibitors. Application of antioxidant in packaging Air oxygen penetrates the food material from outside, therefore it is useful to protect the food surfaces. Meat or fish products are often protected by packaging a impregnator with antioxidants or by application of suitable antioxidant on the surface of material even when they are not packed. Most often, foods are distributed, distributed packed. The packaging material is then of great importance. If the material is permeable for oxygen, antioxidant may be added to the packaging to inhibit the diffusion of oxygen. These antioxidants may enter into the packed food. On concluding, essential oils from different sources can be exploited as a natural additive in foods. It combined with other bioactive activities or functions from new source should be further searched. New technology for lowering the unique and undesirable smell of essential oil which can limit the use in foods such as encapsulation and so on must be Im implemented. It can be widely used without any negative effect on sensory property of foods. The development of release system of, for essential oil from packaging or fuming system inside packaging should be conducted to maximize the activity of active compounds in essential oil. Therefore, essential oil can serve as a convenient packaging which effectively extends the shelf life of foods. The essential oil and oleoresin of zingiber. Uh, uh, the essential oil and oleoresin of uh, gin ginger varieties exhibit significant antioxidant and antimicrobial activities. It can be concluded that essential oil from ginger and oleoresin could be promising alternative antioxidant having significant activity. Since they have exhibited moderate to significant antimicrobial properties, hence they can be used in the treatment of many bacterial and fungal diseases as well as the natural food additives and preservative which considered in new applications of food technology.